Good morning from rainy Central California on this Wisdom Wednesday. I'm Ariana Newcomer, Dove Oracle Priestess, and today's topic is about speaking up. I've been doing these lives for the last, the last two were on voice. This one is on <laughs> voice too, and what happened when I didn't speak up for myself. I didn't listen to my own intuition. And I teach people how to do this, so I'm owning up that this is work that I still need to do for myself, uh, for self-care. And this issue is up with a, a client I was talking with yesterday as well. How do we speak up in order to take care of ourselves? And I got myself into the situation where something was offered to me by someone who I knew a bit and it sounded nice, and yet I kept getting these dings of intuition saying, you know what, I don't really feel safe with this person. And I ended up going ahead and doing this thing, even when at the very beginning, uh, something happened that should have sent me running out of the room. <laughs> and if I had been being true to myself, and holding my own boundaries and holding my sovereignty, I would have gotten myself out of there. Um, and it ended up being um, really tough, a really tough situation for, I think, everybody who was involved. So, of course, there are lessons in these things. And uh, the lesson for me is, dang it, practice what you preach, pay attention to your intuition, pay attention to your gut feelings, and don't just be nice and keep going with something because that's how you've always done things. That's how you were brought up, be nice. You know, take care of other people first. Uh, it's so important for us in these times of the great shift, the great turning, that we don't allow things we don't allow our, ourselves to put ourselves in situations or keep ourselves in situations that aren't really for our greatest good. So it was emotionally draining, energetically devastating. And um, so I want to share with you some of the ways that you can tell if you're getting these messages that, you know what, it's time to walk out of the situation, so I'm just get up and leave. Our gut is a really good place to check in with, and we have been really trained out of checking in with our intuition and checking in with our gut. Our gut knows all kinds of things that our brain doesn't. Our heart knows all kinds of things that our brain doesn't. And our culture really teaches us to be so brain centric. So I was getting these funny feelings in my gut and I had this, you know, my, my intuition was, I said it was dinging me, <laughs> I literally said it was pinging me um, that, that whole morning and I didn't pay attention. So now I have more confirmation that I really do need to pay attention to what my gut's telling me, what my heart is telling me, and what my guides are, my spirit guides are telling me, what my intuition is telling me. And I really can trust that on a much deeper level than I can trust other people who have their own stuff going on. And of course, you know, shit happens. And these things always are, you know, co-created, but uh, but I want to really encourage you to start trusting your intuition much more and then speak up and actually talk about what you're feeling, what you're sensing. Um, talk about not feeling safe. Talk about uh, <clears throat> feeling that something just isn't right. Hi, Barbara. Thanks for watching. Um, because when we speak up, we're actually taking care of ourselves and we're taking care of the other people also in a real way. We're not allowing something to go on that isn't good for anybody, actually. So 
learning to speak up and and it's going to be uh it's going to be scary especially at first and it may come out all wrong the first few times and it's a muscle that we have to exercise and practice with and use over time and to create that sovereignty and those boundaries for ourselves and say myself i care enough for myself i respect myself enough that i am not going to allow these kinds of i'm not going to put myself or keep myself in these kinds of situations that are damaging to me so what happens when you have gone through a situation which was whoa you know that really i feel like i've been put through the ringer i felt feel like i've been run over by a truck i feel devastated then there are ways that we take care of ourselves afterwards so one of my primary ways at this point is my meditations and running energy and bringing energy up from earth bringing energy down from cosmos and running those energies and helping to clear my energy fields and then allowing myself to really feel really feel and this is one of the most valuable things that i've learned and one of my mentors um, i believe it was uh, deborah allen who's a wonderful wonderful person and energy healer and teacher talks about the need for us to just allow ourselves to have our feelings and she has done some read some research that says it takes about 20 minutes for the chemicals that our bodies produce when we have these emotions to clear and we can take that time and give ourselves a place a quiet place to to sit i have a beautiful home office that i'm sitting in right now my bedroom is a lovely place to do this too and just allow the feelings to run and allow those chemicals to have a chance to flow through. And um, thanks Barbara for saying uh, she has an issue with trust and, and connecting with feelings. And so it's, it's so common for us because this starts when we're children and our parents tell us that we shouldn't be feeling this way or our parents give us a time out for having a temper tantrum or our parents, you know, take their love away because we uh, behaved in a certain way. And that's a really, that's another interesting question, maybe for another time, what can we do as parents to honor our children, help them to create boundaries around this kind of their their emotional selves and still keep them safe really interesting question teach them how to be good people in the world interesting question so back to back to allowing our feelings to run and really having them instead of judging ourselves so instead of saying to myself boy i shouldn't be feeling so bad here i am you know, I am a spiritual teacher and mentor. I should be uh, beyond all this stuff. But the truth is, I am really a human being and I'm probably never going to be fully beyond this stuff. So the important thing is to have the tools to, to work with it, to deal with it. So allowing the emotions to run, then what I found is that when I do that, they clear much more quickly. And I can come back to a place that's more calm and centered and go on with the things I need to do in my life. But if I stuff it, if I try to just keep going and stuff the feelings, then it's all churning underneath me and I end up snapping at people and I end up in a really bad mood and I'm not very productive. And so I offer that to you, something that has really worked for me is to just take that time and say, wow, I am really angry. I, am, I feel really hurt. And often there's hurt underneath anger. I'm really going to allow myself to feel those emotions. I have those feelings. I have a right to have those feelings. And here I am by myself just feeling the feelings so that I'm not going to snap at people and splat my anger all over my partner or anybody that I meet in the store or something. I'm taking responsibility for having my feelings and allowing myself, giving myself that gift of time to actually feel 
the feelings. So that is a really wonderful practice. And then if you don't have a meditation practice, I really recommend that I've, I've only gotten really good at being regular at it in recent time. It is truly a gift. It's truly a gift. We can then take ourselves kind of out of that situation, come into the more witnessed aspect of the observer, can observe, and then we can receive that healing energy from Mother Earth, from Mother Cosmos, and use our imagination to run that energy and actually see in our mind's eye, see that energy actually clearing our energy fields, see emotions in our fields as a shape or a color, and see those turning into sand and just flowing down into the earth. Use music. Music is another great way to allow ourselves to feel and also to move and shift energy. But above all, above all, love self. Self-love is so important for all of us to do more of. So I'm going to give myself more love today. Uh, I have a self-love meditation that's kind of a shorty that I do give away to people if you're interested in receiving the self-love meditation. Uh, write a comment and I will message you with the link. It's free. So also, I would be happy to work with any of you if you want to work on how do I actually speak up, <clears throat> excuse me, morning frog, speak up for myself in a way that's responsible and respectful. And these are things that we just going to keep working on. It's part of our wisdom path, part of our journey. So start speaking up, speak up for yourself, say when you're not feeling safe, say when you're feeling uncomfortable, and you'll figure it out eventually. Even if you don't come and work with me for help in how to do that, start doing it. Start doing it. It's really an important piece of your self-respect, having your boundaries, your emotional health, in your spiritual health and well-being. Speak up. Bye.